Hey Erin, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO. Um, I know you were in a hurry this morning when we spoke. I apologize, but thank you for requesting this video. Um, we're just going to go over some tips that you guys can apply right away to start getting more of those organic leads coming in. So as you can see, we are on your website. <laughs> um, looks like you have a simple website. Um, based out of Huntington Beach, but serving all of Orange County. So you have a pretty large service area. So you're definitely going to need service area pages. Um, you want to make sure that you have a separate page for every community you service that has any type of search volume. Um, not seeing any information about the company down here. Um, email, I guess that's one way somebody can get a hold of you. Um, okay, so Google does not rank a website based on appearance. It's based on content. Content is key. You want to make sure you have more content than your top competitors. Google wants to see a minimum of a thousand to fifteen hundred words on your homepage focused on those buyer intent keywords. Those are going to be the keywords that people are actively searching for when um for the services that you offer and being emergency restoration it's even more important that um you are found and one of the first people that they call because they they're going to be searching for the services they need and will probably be less particular about the name of the company um, so it's going to be really important that you dial in that content strategy and focus on those buyer intent keywords you definitely want to make sure you have a separate page for every individual service that you offer and that you work on the content strategy on these pages as well, um, going after those buyer intent location based keywords. Um, in addition to adding a different service area page for every service area that you service, because Google has um, crawlers, which are like mini robots, and they go and index every single one of these pages, um, pulling all this content and looking for the keywords so that they can rank those keywords and put you in front of your customers in each of those service areas um, when they need your help. One of your top organic competitors um, in Orange County is ATI and um, they have multiple locations across the US but we're only looking at the Anaheim location specifically for this purpose um, you can see they have a decent looking website they have different pages for each of their locations different pages for each of their services um, see they're going after those buyer intent keywords that are location based um, they have more content see each of these have their own pages so in order to beat these guys um, you're gonna need more content you're going to need more pages and you're going to have to focus on those buyer intent keywords. Um, that'll be the first step. This is a program called AREFs. It helps us to analyze how your website is performing. And as you can see, you have a rating of a six out of a hundred in Google's trust flow, which is pretty low. And it just means that Google does not have much trust in your website yet. That's because you only have, three referring domains and nine backlinks. Um, you need a lot more backlinks, but not all backlinks are created equal. So you only want the high authority backlinks that are relative to your industry and that are due follows. And you need a lot more of those than your top competitor. Um, because you really don't have much content on your site, you're only being um, indexed for one keyword and you're getting zero people to your website on average per month. Now you need to keep in mind 70% of your organic traffic 
comes from your website. So it is very important that you optimize your website so you can capture that traffic because you're missing out on thousands of potential leads coming to you each and every month. Now, um, if we look at your competitor, we're not concerned with their whole domain because we're only competing against the Anaheim. Um, but their Anaheim page is a 21 and that's because they have 40 backlinks. So that just shows you that those 40 backlinks are of higher quality. Um, so you, you need to beat their 40 backlinks and not just in number, but in higher quality. Um, you're actually going to have to beat your top competitor in each of your service areas, um, in backlinks and quality. Um, as well as ranking of keywords. Now, these guys have 42 keywords that have been indexed, and they're getting 346 people to just this specific page of their website. So again, this just, just shows you the amount of traffic that you're missing out on by not having your website optimized. Now, what a backlink is, it's when one website links to your website and then drives traffic to your website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. So the more relevant this website is to your website and your services, the more authority Google is going to give you and the more power to help you rank. It is very important that they are do follows instead of no follows because a do follow will actually share the power of those high ranking sites with you and help you rank faster. And in addition, these backlinks need to be closely tied to your keywords so that you can rank for those keywords and be found for those services in those service areas. And the last thing I want to talk to you about is this Google My Business section or Google Maps. Your goal should be to be in the top three for each of your service areas and relative keywords. Um, there's a several factors that go into that, but the most important is the name of the business, the address and phone number and website and having those listed in a variety of places like Instagram, Facebook, yellow pages, etc. And you need a lot more of those than your top competitor in each of your service areas for all of your keywords. Now, when you follow each of these tips I provided you today, your website can be number one across Google in your service areas and for your relative keywords. And you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can take this information I provided you and apply it yourself, and that's completely okay because this is just free education. I just ask that you go ahead and give me some feedback and let me know what you thought of this video. Now, I know you mentioned you're working with a marketing company. Um, from the looks of it, I can't tell what type of marketing they're performing for you. Um, definitely doesn't look like digital marketing or SEO. Um, so if you are looking for help getting this stuff done, um, we are SEO experts. So feel free to reach out to us at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.